South Africa has unveiled the eagerly awaited list of countries seeking formal BRICS membership. Comprising Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, the BRICS coalition has emerged as a non-Western counterbalance to the prevailing global order. Around 40 nations are reportedly intrigued by this ethos and are considering joining the bloc. As the upcoming August summit approaches, hosted by South Africa, the current BRICS chair, the event's central focus will be on the expansion of the BRICS community. Welcome to Discovering Hub, an educational channel dedicated to presenting Africa to the world through a renewed perspective on its rich history. Our mission is to shed light on the diverse and fascinating narratives that have shaped the continent. To ensure that you never miss out on our exceptional content, we kindly encourage you to subscribe. Anil Suklal, South Africa's ambassador at large for Asia and the BRICS, shared that a total of 22 nations have taken formal steps to seek full membership within the BRICS group, with an equal number of countries making informal inquiries regarding potential membership. Notably, countries like Iran, Argentina, Bangladesh, and Saudi Arabia have expressed their interest, whether formally or informally, in joining BRICS. Suklal underlined that the escalating interest in the BRICS coalition is not a recent phenomenon, but underscores the confidence in the principles and achievements that the group has upheld since its inception. Suklal stated that the BRICS collective isn't solely a driving force in reshaping global power dynamics on the political stage, but it also plays a pivotal role in transforming the global economic landscape. He emphasized that the current global framework remains imbalanced, sidelining developing nations and being predominantly controlled by a handful of dominant powers. Sukul expressed the group's aspiration for a world where their perspectives are acknowledged and respected. Although French President Emmanuel Macron had conveyed his interest in attending the BRICS summit, he ultimately did not receive an invitation to the event. The announcement regarding Macron's exclusion from the guest list was disclosed by South Africa's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Nalidi Pandor, during a press briefing held on Monday, August 7. This briefing aimed to assess the preparations for the upcoming BRICS summit, set to take place in Johannesburg from August 22 to 24. Nalidi Pandor provided insights into the guest list, which comprises 67 leaders from various African and Southern countries. While it had been confirmed that Russian President Vladimir Putin would participate virtually and be represented by Sergei Lavrov, Pandor clarified that the French president's attendance had not been extended. Emmanuel Macron had unequivocally expressed his intention to participate in the BRICS summit, a declaration prominently conveyed by his foreign affairs minister. As a potential rationale for Macron's presence as an observer, Catherine Colonna, while visiting South Africa towards the conclusion of June, highlighted the necessity of dialogue for mutual comprehension and conflict resolution. At that time, South Africa's counterpart did not outright reject the notion. However, as Nalidi Pandor conveyed, the plan did not materialize, and no such invitation has been sent out. During her press conference, the South African Foreign Minister officially confirmed that France has not been extended an invitation to attend the BRICS summit. Pandor clarified that French President Emmanuel Macron will not participate, and the BRICS consortium has not dispatched invitations to any European or Western countries. Consequently, the meeting will exclusively involve nations from Asia, Africa, and South America. This decision was made collectively by the BRICS countries and aligned with the position of the Kremlin. Moscow viewed extending such an invitation as inappropriate, due to France's stance on the Ukraine conflict and its NATO membership. The prospect of a Western head of state participating in the BRICS meeting initially raised eyebrows, yet it harmonizes with Emmanuel Macron's prior remarks. During his visit to China, Macron had conveyed his opposition to a strict bloc-based approach, and emphasized the significance of European strategic autonomy. 
When questioned by the media about whether BRICS holds an anti-Western stance, the minister countered these assertions. She emphasized that the alliance does not stand in opposition to Western nations in any manner. Nalidi Pandor underscored that BRICS does not operate as an anti-West regime, and clarified that the primary objective of the group is to facilitate economic progress among its member nations. Pandor further clarified, our intention is by no means to construct a bloc that opposes the West. We uphold a vision of global collaboration and mutual cooperation for the betterment of all. Our goal is to establish a world that is inclusive and representative, where every nation has an opportunity to thrive. What did you think of our video? Please share your thoughts on our video in the comment section below. If you found it enjoyable, we encourage you to spread the word to your friends and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it with your social circle on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter as well.